Manchester United then have drawn nil-nil home to PSV in the Champions League. Absolutely dog shit performance from Manchester United. Uh, we played a team that I would have liked to have seen pretty much uh, out there today. We've, uh, we've brought Damian back into the defence. We've kept Memphis Depay in the team playing out wide. We've put Rooney in the in the number 10 position. Martial up front. Uh, I was a bit sceptical whether we should we should keep Jesse Lingard in the team. He didn't play great against Watford, but he played. And to be honest, he was probably about Manchester United's best player on the night uh, going forward with absolutely shocking performance, really. I mean, the first half was a bit better than the second half, but Jesus Christ, that was, that was awful. And it now leaves Manchester United probably going out of the Champions League unless we do a, an absolute miracle and win in Germany, which... Uh, if we play like that, we win, we're not going to win. And the best we could probably hope for is possibly getting a draw. Which, to be honest, will probably put us out. Because CSK and Moscow have got nothing to play for in their last game. They're going to go away to PSV. So you would expect PSV to, to probably get the win there. But PSV were definitely there for the taking tonight. I think they're a, a slightly better than average side. I don't think they're good enough. And we should have gone... Uh, into this game and beat them. Beat them comfortably, 2 or 3 nil. definitely should have beat them. Uh, but obviously we're not scoring enough goals this season, not at all. Uh, we haven't been scoring many goals lately at all, so I wasn't expecting a comfortable win. But I was expecting at least a 1 or 2 nil victory in this game, at least 1 nil. I mean, Jesus Christ, that second half was so bad. I think it's been as bad as we've seen all season from Manchester United. Uh, Jesus Christ, I mean, first half we've had a couple of chances. Uh, Martial's squandered a couple of chances. Uh, he's now only scored, I think, one in 11 games, which uh, is a bit disappointing. I know he started off well. I did say um, I didn't want to get too ahead of ourselves uh, with his goal-scoring exploits early on uh, because I thought it was a bit of a run of good form rather than uh, consistently he was going to do it over the whole season. I think if he gets 10 goals, 10, 15 goals in all competitions this season, we've really done well, which you're looking at other players. Wayne Rooney, first half, put some good balls into the box. Uh, he played, he come out, drifted out wide, put some good balls in. But second half, he was dropping so, so deep. Uh, the, the deeper he was getting, the, and, I mean, even, the, even that second half, he put a good ball across, but he was so far back, almost in a bloody left-back position. Uh, and we, we need Wayne Rooney up front. I mean, Wayne Rooney's never going to do any damage uh, back there. We've brought Fellaini on in the second half. Uh, Memphis has gone off. Who Memphis was absolutely dog shit tonight. Uh, again, not, not quite as bad as that game against Middlesbrough, I don't think. But pretty damn bad tonight. But you can't just blame one player. The whole, the whole team was pretty poor going forward. Uh, second half, Jesse Lingard squandered probably the best chance we've had. Uh, for late on but to be honest we didn't deserve to win that game today We, I don't think because we haven't haven't taken our chances I mean they could have maybe nicked it but even that they, they haven't really had any, many brilliant chances themselves to, to win the game David Hare hasn't had to pull off save after save like he did against Watford but absolutely horseshit for Manchester United and you know this style of play is really getting to some fans and some fans are not happy with Louis Van Gaal for the style of play. Now, we're still in a good position in the league. I don't think we're going to win the league this season, as I said in my previous uh, video, the, the review of the uh, Watford game. I'll be pretty surprised if we do win it playing this dog shit football, but it can happen, and I don't mind if, if we do win it playing this dog shit football, but as long as we're getting winning football. And tonight, especially that second half, I, I just don't know what happened there in that second half. We just did not look at all like scoring that second half. Absolutely dreadful for Manchester United. Very, very disappointed that we look like we're going to go out because if we do go out, it's going to be Europa League football for Manchester United this season, uh, moving along. But on the showing of that performance, would we actually get through uh, if we get to the knockout stage? Because it does look like now we, if I mean, if we do get if we do get through, we will probably win the group because it will mean winning in Germany, which is I can only see us having to win in Germany, unless obviously PSV uh, somehow mess it up against uh, CSK in Moscow and we finish runners-up, but I can't really see CS finishing runners-up now. If we're going to go through, it'll be 
be, I think, first position winning that game in, in Germany, which I can't actually see us doing. Uh, I think we could, might be able to nick a draw out of that, but then we'd be really relying on, on CSK Moscow nicking a point in that in that game against PSV. So it's very, very, very disappointing. But if we did, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, to be honest, if we did go out, I would be very disappointed. But I know we're not going to win this year. And I would take elimination, elimination completely myself because going into that Europa League, we're going to have to start playing on the on the Sunday on the Sunday again. Uh, we did that a few years ago when Man City also went in there, so we were batting out for them. So both title rivals at the time would go, um, and I think if I'm not mistaken, we both got knocked out in the same round of that. So we're going to be doing catch up if we do uh, go into that Europa League uh, each week if Manchester City and supposedly whether Arsenal. Uh, are in the Europa League or not could also be doing catch up in the league if Manchester City are playing on the Saturday which is is where the problem will lie uh, I, I don't think it's it's any different really from playing Thursday to, to Sunday to, to Wednesday and, and Saturday it's just the catch up you've got to do with the with the other games uh, the other teams playing before you if they're getting the points you, you're always under pressure to keep winning your games uh, we've seen Manchester United have played first in the Premier League uh, in the last two games, uh, Manchester City and Arsenal have then dropped points after us. It really does crank up the pressure on the other teams if you can pick up that win first. So it will be disappointing if we end up in that Europa League now. We've got to try and win that game. I mean, we're not going to progress uh, further than about the quarterfinals this year. But I really did think we would get, get through this round, get through to the knockout round. I thought a pretty decent group on paper. I thought we would win the group, but... I mean, we still could win the group, but we're going to have to do do wonders to, to win in Germany because Wolfsburg are a decent side. It can happen. We can win the game there. Uh, we, not, all is not lost, but very, very disappointing for Manchester United tonight. I thought we would at least get one goal. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, who was your man of the match? Probably Jesse Lingard going forward was my man of the match. Anyway, uh, a lot of players were really bad tonight. Probably the worst player on the pitch for Manchester United was Morgan Schneider. An absolutely terrible performance from him tonight. Really, really shocking performance. He, he played a lot better than that against Watford, but tonight, absolutely shocking. Same with Memphis, shocking. Uh, Wayne Rooney, I mean, not a better first half. Second half, uh, I'm not saying it was really all his fault because he did, uh, well, it was partly, I mean, he was dropping deep so much. Which, uh, which was really bad because we need to get him in that further forward. Scoring goals, which is what Rain really was all about. Martial, not his best. Missing good chances. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section box below. Like the video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you all again soon. See ya.